Little Dupree came to the DMC today to get measured for a custom-made helmet. Not for football or hockey quite yet, that comes later. This is a very special helmet that will correct a condition called deformational plagiocephaly, or the flattening of the head that we sometimes see on young babies. Dr. Arlene Roselle of the DMC's Children's Hospital of Michigan is one of the best pediatric plastic reconstructive surgeons in the nation. In the old days, we used to let babies sleep on their stomachs or wherever they felt comfortable sleeping. In the early 1990s, the American Academy of Pediatricians published a guideline that children should sleep on their backs because it greatly decreased the incidence of SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. An infant skull, first of all, has open growth sutures, so actually the plates of bone in their skull are mobile. Also, the infant's skull bone is very soft and very thin. Most babies will lay more on the right side of their head, 75% look to the right, and their heads are so soft and their growth sutures are mobile, so it's almost like you take your hand on each side of the head and squeeze, so you get flattening on the back on the right and the front and the left, and the head and skull base expand out in the opposite directions, almost like a jello mold. So it's not just simple flattening on the back of the head, but the whole skull base and face can shift. Uh, and again, it's a spectrum, and in some children we see very severe shifting of the entire area. So, 75% of babies lie on their backs and turn their head to the right resulting in many children, not all, developing this condition, this flattening on the back of the head and some flattening on the front. This raises a few questions. First, why do they turn to the right? Does this mean 75% of all babies will develop flat heads? And if lying on their backs causes the flattening on the back of their heads, what causes it on the front left? There are two theories about that. One is that the positions most babies are in as they come down the birth canal and get born is that they're called LAO. They turn slightly to the one side, so there's a little more pressure on the right back side of the head. The other is, is that most mothers are right-handed, so they hold the baby in the left arm, so the baby is turning towards mom sure, sure. and getting a little more pressure on the right well, side. Not all babies who lie on their backs will develop deformational plagiocephaly. And the reason for the flattening on the front left? The bone of the skull in infants is so thin and soft. As the baby lies on its side with the weight of the brain pushing down on the back right and out on the sides, the front left goes down simply by gravity due to the very soft nature of the bone. So, just how common is deformational plagiocephaly? Well, twice a month, Dr. Roselle dedicates an entire day to children with this condition. On this day, she is seeing more than 80 babies. In some children, especially if it's relatively mild, if you can get them off of that flat side and make them lay on the other side and monitor the shape of the head, you may get the head to even out if you catch it very early at the one month, two month, perhaps three months age range. After that, if there is still significant asymmetry, then the most effective treatment is to use a molding helmet. The DMC is one-stop shopping, not only for this incredible physician, but for the helmet too. From the doctor's office, patients remain at the Detroit Medical Center where, using Dr. Roselle's measurements, they undergo a computerized process for a custom-made helmet for each child. The helmet is designed to put a little gentle pressure where the child's head is protruding and leave space where the skull is flat. So as the child's skull continues to rapidly grow, it has to fill out the area that needs to round out. It can't keep growing in the abnormal direction. The helmet is designed to put a little gentle pressure where the child's head is protruding and leave space where the skull is flat. We ask people to keep it on basically 23-7. You take it off to bathe the child, special occasions and so on, but we, we just don't know when the child's growing and it has to be on when the growth spurt occurs. 
To find out more about treatment for babies with flat heads from Dr. Arlene Roselle and her team, log on to dmc.org or call 888-DMC-2500. I'm Emory King.